qui t'a fait ça? C'est obvious. Que your best wasn't good enough. Comme ça, une personne qui t'a fait ça. Ah, mais ça, ça. The other company strategy was just out of this world, sir. We did our best, sir. I agree. Totally. And that is exactly where I'm sending both of you. Somewhere out of this world. To the bottomless pit, hell. Where you will learn to strategize, network, and if you can, come back with a drive that will lead this company forward. You find it. Both of you. Now get out. Beth, come inside now. Come back inside the house. Come back. Mommy, I want to play outside. Look, your father will soon be back. He won't find it funny if he comes in and sees you outside. Mm. Mom, I'm not coming inside. Mommy, why can't I not forward to do something to be scared of my dad? I want to play outside. You see, the problem is you are beginning to turn out like your father. Stubborn. Enter. No. Mom, I don't want to enter inside. Please now, Elizabeth. Please, you want your father to beat you. Huh? Mm, Who are you going to play with now, eh? Yeah? Play in the compound now. We play together. It's always. Are you tired of me? So sorry. You're tired of me. Hmm? You house now. Oh. Mommy, what are they? Um, I think they are our new neighbors. Mm, thank God. Huh, what does that mean? A new climate. It's a boy. Can you see that? I like you. <laughs> Enter this house. Mommy, Dad, come in our way. Please be careful. Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Dorothy, and this is my son, Ethel Beth, and we're your new neighbor. Elizabeth, neighbors. are you going to be our new neighbor? Yes, my darling, we are. And I hope you're going to be friends with Ethel Beth, yeah? Your leaf is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the silly girl. You're welcome. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ethel Beth said Beth, right? Yes. It's here. <laughs> Dorothy, and this is my son, Ethelbert. Is that right? Are you Elizabeth's father? Why do you want to know? Just curious. I'm sure you're old enough to know that. Curiosity killed the cat. Okay. Let's go. Mommy. Yes, darling. I don't like Dama. That's okay, but I've told you, do not be judgmental. Let's go. Let's go. Why were you outside? I... I... Where's your mother? 
Hello, dear. You're back early. This is my house. And I can decide to come at midnight or midday if I choose. It's my choice. Fine. Sweetie, come and help me out in the kitchen. Elizabeth, stand there. Have I not told you over and over again that I don't want to see her playing outside? For Christ's sake, Ben, she is a child. She's my child! Okay? I don't want her growing up to be like you. Will that be all? No. There's a lady I met outside, and there's something about her I don't like. Really? Why? She's full of arrogance and too sure of herself. And I don't want you or Elizabeth to mingle with them. Is that clear? Yes, Dad. That wasn't for you. Am I clear? Be quiet. When I talk, you shut up. I fired my marketing team. What? Again? They are nothing but a bunch of losers. I can't help it. And my competitors get the juiciest of all the contracts. How is that possible? It means they are not performing. How can I continue to just pay bills after bills, pay them salaries every month? They are nothing but non-achievers. I can't work with them. You know, sweetie, I think you're looking at the wrong places for the source of your problem. Have you tried looking within? What are you implying? As an entrepreneur, you need to be more patient and tough than you are. I mean, allow these 
marketing team of yours some level of freedom. Let them do the job you have hired them to do. Don't always try to impose your ideas on them and then come up with theirs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you saying I'm a tyrant? Not exactly. Okay. Look at your home, for instance. I mean, your daughter is practically terrified of you. When last did you sit in this bed and ask her how she treats you? When last did you show care? Hmm? This is how you're supposed to be. You're just actually supposed to Enough. You don't tell me how to raise my daughter. Worse still, tell me how to run my business. Fine. Since you're such a perfectionist, you know it all. Why are you Enough! Complaining? I speak once. to tell it to you, okay? I care and I want you to succeed in your business. I don't say it just so I can annoy you. So you need to listen. I warned you. Then you promised not to hit me again. I know. I just did. And I'll hit you again. If you don't shut up, I tell you. You know what you are? You're a coward. You come home and you carry out your frustration on me. That makes you a born loser. That's what you take me for, huh? That's what you take me for. Ah! Take me for. Ah! What is it now? I forgot my lunch box on the dining table. You are always forgetting things. Huh? What's wrong with you? Don't you think a little bit? One of these days, I'm sure you forget your own name. But before that happens, I will beat the hell out of you. You hear me? Yeah, I... Just shut up. I'll go get it immediately. Stand there. Come here. Come here. Now you listen to me. I don't have time for stupid people. You hear me? So if you want to be stupid, you cease to be my daughter. Now go get it. Good morning, my neighbor. 
It's a lovely day, isn't it? Whatever. Oh, it's a lovely day. I think we should give glory to God. There is nothing special about today, okay? Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Hurry up! Elizabeth! Mommy. Yes, my darling. I agree with you. It's very unfriendly and snobbish. Don't be like this. Well, sir, as you can see from my credentials, I believe I have the training and qualities needed to remove this thing I heard. You've given the opportunity. Opportunity? Is that what you're looking for? Opportunity? Well, young lady, I'm not here to give people just opportunities. I'm looking out for smart, aggressive-minded, go-getters, okay? I don't want somebody who's just gonna come in here, hang on to the company for something good to pop up. What's that, I think? That would be all. Yes. Bobby? Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I want to be left alone for a while, okay? Oh. Perhaps I walked into the wrong office. Beg your pardon? Well, I believe this company has been losing contracts based on the faulty presentations of its pitch. And I said to myself, Nicole, you can do a whole lot better. Have a seat. How did you get access to that kind of information? Well, I did a research on companies that are not doing well. And I came to realize what their weaknesses are. Tristan. And you think you have the solution? Absolutely. I'm not looking for a job security. I need financial freedom. And that can only be realized by a vision. Okay. Okay. You just sound a little too confident. Well, sir, I am not tall, but I intend to be noticed in a crowd. Electrical appliances, I've told you. Even the TV upstairs is not coming on. Hold on. I'm check.
guess an electrical problem. Let's go around and teach you how to play my game. I don't know any electrician around here. Go and read your book or something. But you still have to fix it. Why not now? Ethel, this is a new neighborhood. Don't know anyone around here. Let's ask the new neighborhood. She will know an electrician. She may have gone to work. But we did not see her leave, did we? I can see you're not going to let me rest until we find an electrician. Huh? God. Spoiled child. Let's go. Well, that person is not answering the door, huh? Let's go. Elizabeth! How are you, my darling? Fine, thank you. Do you usually come home alone from school? No, my mommy comes to pick me. So how come you're alone today? She couldn't come because her eyes were swollen. What happened? She... She fought with my dad. Um, that's not too good. Uh, there's no one at home. Why don't you come over with us to our house and then you can play with Ethelbert? No, my mom is in. She hardly goes there. You see? I told you there's someone in there. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go and find out. Come. Oh, welcome, eh? Funny. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm having some problems with my electrical connection. I wanted to know if there was an electrician around here. Um, uh, why don't you come in? Let me look for a number for okay. you. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> <Line up here. laughs> Have you seen a doctor over that eye? Uh, <clears throat> no, no, I, actually I don't think it will swell up like this. I think I'll see one this evening. Okay. How did it really happen? Um, I slipped and fell in the bathroom. Your no, mom is not true. Um, Elizabeth, do you have any storybooks? Yes. Good. Would you like to take Ethelbert upstairs and show him your collection? I'm sure you'd like to borrow one. Okay. The truth is, I'm too embarrassed to see my doctor right now. Why? Well, let's just say this is not the first time and He's starting to get curious. So. I know I'm new in the neighborhood, but if you like, I'm willing to be a friend. Thank you. You know something, Yvonne? Destiny has a funny way of bringing people together. If we ease up and share our terrible experiences with each other, it eases the pressure instead of bottling it all up inside. I think you really do need to see the doctor, don't you? You are a very smart person for 
what's the right word? Um, Someone my height? No, 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 not like that. Well, God is awesome. What I lack in height, I gained hair. No, sorry, I, I didn't mean it to come out like that. Truthfully, I didn't mean it to come out like that. Well, I am fascinated with your ideas. I am. And to think you are so young. Well, I've always come first in everything I do. My father wanted me to get a job in a blue chip company. I declined. I love challenges. Well, I'm a bit uncomfortable with your ideas about this proposal because I feel it's a little time consuming. My father told me, if you want to be rich, you need to learn how to take risk. Interesting. Many people are afraid of losing. They choose not to invest in new ideas. But this is an information age. The louder you are, the clearer they hear you. We need to repackage the company. You know what? I am a slave to new ideas. Yes, I am. Cheers to new ideas. Let him come to the kitchen and cook. You are ill. Look, it is the duty of the woman to keep the house clean and cook. Mommy, when I grow up, I will not cook for my husband. If he comes back and beats me, I will carry my load and come back to my father's house. Shh, you talk too much. Wait, somebody's at the door. It must be your dad. The doctor said mommy she dressed, so did Auntie Dorothy. Who is Auntie Dorothy? Elizabeth, go to your room. Elizabeth, stand right here. Let me finish talking to my daughter. Who is Auntie Dorothy? She, she. Answer my question, who is Auntie Dorothy? Ben, come on, you're scaring her. Talk to me. Look at me! Is that right? Thank you. 
Yes. Are you still angry with us? No. That is fine now. Okay. Now run along. Tell your mother I am not hungry. But that the mommy loves you and she's hot. What do you know about love and hurt? Hmm? What do you know? Let's go and have dinner now. Can you do daddy a favor? Daddy wants to be left alone. Okay. But you hurt us. You beat mommy every time you shout at me. Just don't. No, not tonight. Ben, Ben. Ben, we promise to love each other no matter what. We promise to live together till death do us part. What has changed? Will you stop wasting your tears on me? Stop it. Because it won't work. Even if the rivers run dry, Ben, my tears will always flow as long as you keep treating me this way. Ben, I have done nothing wrong to you. I've, I've loved you. I have prayed and I have fasted that things get better between us somehow. Ben, I sacrificed my future to make you happy. Your future? What future are you talking about? Huh? What future? Look at me, I'm your future. It's all about me. It's because of me you live. I give you life. I've given you everything you ever wanted. And how did you pay me back? It's not my fault, Elizabeth Turner. Girl, rather than the boy you desired, why are you blaming me? Enough. You are the perfect example why men are so mean to their women. You are the perfect example. That's not fair. And that's not fair. But what happened to the man I married? But the man you married, he's a stranger. Absolute stranger. I, I, don't, I, I don't know you. And you know what happened? Why? Because you, you stabbed him in his heart. You did it. Then forgive me. Okay, forgive me, not because I've done anything wrong, but at least for the sake of that, that poor child you and I brought into this world. Ben, let's just try and live like a family. Let's, please. Living? You are living. To me, you are dead. You are already dead. Soon everybody's gonna hear about your story. They will hear it and I dare anyone, I swear. I dare anyone.
Mika. Why? Why are you haunting me? You know what happened was an accident. Was I not patient with you? Did I not tolerate your excesses? Tell me, where did I go wrong? I loved you every day of your life. And now you're gone. Leave me alone with our son. Thank you. So why are you torturing me? Why have you decided to to hurt someone who has offended several people to be with you? has always smiled at me and you know it. On our way out, so I thought I should just come and check on how you're doing. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. Ethel Beth here insisted on going to Elizabeth's school instead of his old school, so I'm going oh. to run him over there, register him if I get to the office. Uh -huh. Is that right? Well, that's good. I mean, maybe you get to know each other better that way. Huh? I'll protect her. I'll be bad. <laughs> 
Shame. <laughs> this is what you do with. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, what kind of job do you do? I'm a lawyer. Although I also run a non-governmental organization that deals with battered and abused women. Oh, is, is that right? That's interesting. Well, um, as you can see, I'm a career housewife. If you ask me, I think you're too young and absolutely too intelligent to be tied down like that. Well, actually, I'm... You know what? When you're ready to talk, I'm just a shelter away. Okay? <laughs> You've got my cell phone number, right? Oh, yes, I'm Okay, we'll leave you then. Have a lovely day. All right, good luck. Bye. Bye. This is exciting. Excitingly beautiful. Yes, it is. I am in love with your media campaign. This pitch is the best I've ever seen. You know, I'm just wondering, where do you get your ideas from? Good. I'm beginning to like it even more. Thank you, sir. Oh, sir. With your permission, I would like to assemble my own marketing team. Oh, I already did. I already assembled them uh, about, about an hour ago. They are not bad to work with. The person you talk to is John. Very well then. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. See you working. It's okay. I know that look. What look? That. That you were not happy. When you left my office, I went searching for you first. I thought to myself, I'm like, what the heck? You are a rare talent to come back. So, I'm not gonna let you go. Thank you, sir. You are. I made a decision. I will let you select your own team with no interference from me. That's quite thoughtful of you, sir. Thank you. It doesn't seem like that to me, but um, I just want to let you know you can talk to me. You know, not only as your new boss, but also as a friend. You know, <clears throat> I, I must confess that I like you very much. Doesn't really seem like that, but back to business. Um, concerning the proposal, I was I was just thinking that uh, I've got some ideas that I want to infuse into it. I could come up with the script for the ad and.
you 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 are a genius. You know, and I'm stuck with you. This is good. I like it. Except I have this little idea. Agreed to give me a free hand. gone through the brief and I will appreciate it if I'm left to handle this. We have bigger firms pitching for the same portfolio. I know. Except I'm 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 saying exactly my point sir. You picked a marketing team without consulting me. Things are not done that way. But if you insist I'll have no option than to leave the way I came. Good day sir. Is going away to mommy and everybody have gone from excuse me, us. Maybe we should take a taxi. No, my mommy will come to pick us. Maybe she's busy. It's not for us to go home alone. My mommy comes to pick me if my daddy does not beat her. What do you do? He hates us. Where is your daddy? I don't know. He traveled. Do you want him to come back? No, no. I don't know him. I wish my daddy would travel and never come back. I don't know. He like beating my mom every day. He shouts at me. He will not do him anything. We will quarrel. I don't know what we did to him. He will start fighting us every day. What does your mommy do him now? I don't know what she did. Okay. Yeah, just drop the files on my table. Okay. Thank you. The lady is supposed to be proud of her man, and you hesitated a little bit before answering the question. We are happy together. Once again, thanks for the ride. Your official car will be ready tomorrow. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Just be careful. I'm sorry, I'm lost. I want you to know what you truly want in life. mind sir it's my private life we're talking about i know what i'm talking about because i'm in one myself
swear you Jack, Jack, stop pretending. I'm not just in the mood for all this your silly pranks. Go and do it. The mess gets in the pile. Jack, Jack, I'm talking to you. All you know is just drink. Every day, every blessed day of your life, you're drinking. Get drunk. Drink and sleep like a log of wood. If you know what is good for you, just get up and go and clean that mess in the pile. Jack, I'm talking to you. Jack, Jack, please, Jack, please get up. Jack, 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 please get up. Such a thing. That's gossip, my dear, and I don't want you indulging in such, okay? Yes, mommy. Good. Hello! You're welcome! Why don't you learn to mind your own business? You told me what? Young man. Go in there, read your books, and let me figure this out, okay? Get away. Say thank you to your daddy.
I can't sleep. I'm so scared and worried. I don't understand. Okay. You will need a coma until it turns around. So, when will that be? Uh, I don't know. It depends on him. Obviously, he, after having an excess of alcohol, he hits his head on the floor. Which gives rise to a conclusion. Let any help come to him, please. He should consider himself lucky. We found him on time. If not, it would have been fatal. I'm sure you must be happy now. Over what? Turning my daughter against me. You turned yourself against us, Ben. Elizabeth might be a child, but she's also human. She feels pain just like you and I. Are you trying to tell me that I'm not being a good father? That's why she rejected your gift. No. It's because you poisoned her mind. That's what. Mm. Then give her the antidote. What is this freaking antidote? Love. Compassion. Show her you care. Spend more time with her. Talk to her. Do what a father should do. I will. And Thanks. by the way, I'm tired of sitting in this house. I'm too young to be a housewife. I'm sure you'll agree with me. I hope it's nothing serious, is it? Well, it is. He's in a coma. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, but um, are you okay? I'm trying to. Um, actually, I am calling because I am not certain I can make it to the office tomorrow, sir. Well, that's alright, that's alright. You don't have to come in tomorrow. I mean, just do what you have to do, okay? Is there anything you want me to do for you? I'm already on my way home, sir. Okay, that that's good. You, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Yvonne, did I not tell you not to bring up that topic about you not wanting to be home anymore until I am ready to forgive you? You just crossed my mind, so I thought I could check up on you. That's very helpful of you. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, nothing at all. I had wanted to drop by earlier, but I wasn't too sure how your husband would react. Please, feel free to come by anytime time you feel like it, okay? I'll leave you now. I hope you've not forgotten to take your medication. 
Good night, then. Good night. Good night, rest. Is there a name to this friend? Perhaps. What is your problem? Did I ask you who called you? What, I don't have a right to pick up a call on my phone? Was it a man? Are you jealous? Would you stop asking me stupid questions and giving the phone? Who called you? Was it? It's not a man. Turn and listen to me when I talk to you. Hello, Yvonne? Oh, Ben. This is Dorothy, your neighbor. Your wife just called me. Yvonne has gone to sleep. Really? I thought she just... Don't. This is not another fight. Listen, did I not tell you not to associate with that woman? Did I not? Ben, you're hurting me. Huh? Ben! Did I not tell you? Ben! Ben, stop it. Ben, stop it! No wonder you've been trying to get what? You want to be the man of the house? Huh? You want to be the man of the house? Not tonight, just leave me alone. Let's just, just leave me alone. Then you hurt me. No! 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 No!
Elizabeth? What, what's going on? Where's your mommy? My mommy can't get up. My dad has gone out after beating her. What? Oh, oh, okay, just, just oh, hold on. I'll be right there. Find out if you are okay. You're the last person I expect to see. I was worried. Now, I know your boyfriend is still in the hospital, and I just come over and keep you coming. Okay, uh, please come in. After I spoke to you on the phone, you sounded very panicked and I couldn't help it. I was really worried. I couldn't sleep. Or well, especially, I couldn't leave my whiskey all by herself. That's quite touching, sir. How about your wife? How could she be worried? Nothing to worry about. Unlike me, my wife sleeps like a log. And uh, more importantly, you are very special to me. Thank you, sir. Is it too late to get you a, a drink? It's late. Don't bother. What about a, a cup of tea or coffee? You see? That's why I like you. You know, that's why you were very, very important to me. Very special to me. Because you always trying to impress me. That's good. I like that. Come on, hey. Have a seat. Talk to me. Tell me what, what happened. Don't you think you should go home with the kids? She's still under sedition. Uh, I think I'll be here till she wakes. The kids are fine. Thank you.
It's okay. You can lean on me. Everything will be fine. Everything will be all right. Okay. You know, it's quite pathetic that right now I'm going through a similar situation. What is it? My wife. My wife. She's turned my daughter against me. And she's just driving me insane. You know. What's that what you mean by I should be careful? Because you're involved in one? That's right. That's right. Goodness, I have been so unhappy for such a long time now. So unhappy. And my business is suffering from that. I guess I didn't make any mistake after all. What? Coming into your life. You, you're an angel. Uh, I hope you don't misunderstand me. I meant coming in to help in your business. Um, isn't it rather getting too late? Not too late if you try to make me happy. Please leave my house. I believe you, but just leave. It's okay. All right. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <clears throat>
know my dad, he hates my mom. It's okay, Isabel. He's your daddy, okay? Come, come. Of dozed off in the car. It seems so. Your wife is on admission. What? What happened? I don't know. I thought you would be in a better position to tell me. Elizabeth, come here. Don't touch me. That's okay. Um, I think you should go over there and see her. It should at least speak well of you. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know what came over me. Thank you. That's okay. Come on. The young man has made tremendous progress and is now of danger. In a couple of days, he will be discharged. Thank you, Doctor. However, he should be made to understand that the lifestyle he's leading is extremely dangerous. God has been merciful and kind to him, and he should not take that for granted. Grace is unlimited, but grace time has limits. So he should be very, very careful. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Take care of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doctor. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, Nick. To talk. You don't need to stress yourself. Okay. I will always be by your side, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Just promise to be straight. And God will do the rest for us. I mean, we loved each other once, to the envy of all what happened. I know. I know. It's, I'm sorry, okay? It's, it's gonna come back to me. It's gonna come back, I swear, it's gonna come back to me. It's just, I've been so frustrated lately. Don't be, don't be. I mean, Elizabeth and I need you. You're our only source of strength. You're the only shoulder we can lean on. What do you want us to do? We're going out change. I'll change, I promise. I'll change. I've heard that too many times before. And... Your kind and forgiving heart. So reassuring. And you take advantage of that. Can't keep doing this. Can't keep coming here with flowers and expect everything to be okay. <laughs> I'm getting tired. You won't, please. Okay? Um, wait, can we just start all over? You know, like, consider like none of this ever happened. Please. We can just begin anew. Alright? Just don't write me off. I don't want to write you off, Ben. I love you too much to do that. That's why I'm begging you. Stop. I love you. I think I was ever going to hear you say those words to me. Do you love me? If you 
No, I do. So, what is it again this time? Did you go gossiping with your newfound friend? Newfound friend? Who's that? Yes, your nosy neighbor. Oh, Dorothy. Honey, Dorothy's a harmless woman. Trust me, she means well, that woman. I've told you once before that I don't like the lady and I haven't changed my mind about that. She has no business telling me how to treat my wife or my daughter. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, uh, but I can assure you I haven't discussed us with her at all. Good. I promised you that I would behave. But if you want me to shut you up, I can. And I will. Ben been behaving lately? Well, he's been nice. Good. So you've discussed with him about letting you start your own business? Um, not exactly. I'm, I'm giving him time. These things cost money. Don't slack. Keep the pressure on. One of the reasons why he keeps maltreating you is because you're not doing anything. You're just there, sitting at home, waiting for him to come back every day. I know, I know, but it's not like his own business is picking up at all. I just... Nevertheless, let him realize it's not business as usual. His wife, not a boxing sparring partner. Huh? How can I avoid my boss, whom I need to report to every day? I see your documents on my table, but I don't see your face. Obviously, you know I'm too busy. Even to have lunch with me this afternoon? I'm sorry. I promised my boyfriend I'll be having lunch with him. Perfect. I will have lunch with my wife. Don't ask me. Elizabeth! Are you angry with me? No. My mom says you don't discuss about my family. I'm your friend. It's a gossip. It's not good to discuss about a family matter. No, it's a gossip. Why?
What are you doing there? Are you not supposed to be at work? But we were supposed to have lunch together. Sorry. As you can see, I'm having fun with my friends and I wouldn't forgive any interruption from you. Now go back to work. Mm. Can I talk to you privately? Mm. Have you been wish? You don't fly? Jack, excuse me. No, no. Go. Are we married? Oh, do you want to pay my price? Take me to the altar. Jack probably gets me pregnant. Jack, please come. Stay out of She's your wife. For God's sake, I'm not married. I'm single. I should be left alone to live my life the way I want it. She's our mama. Don't like this. Her mom said she will not discuss her family. When did she say that? She said it today in school. That's true. You should not discuss with others what happens in your home. But we are friends. Even with friends, you've got to be careful. Everyone has a secret. Hmm? You cannot wash your dirty linen in public. Okay. Mm -hmm. What should I say about my dad? Honey, you know, you know your daddy traveled. Mommy, mm -hmm. I'm your son, not your friend. Thank you. 
Yes. Uh, I want us to talk. Mm. I want to sleep. Please, darling, talk to me. You're breaking my heart. Darling, I, I told you, he traveled. Can't I talk to him on phone? What is it again? I thought you were sleeping at the sitting room. Jeff, what have I done to you? Nothing. Just let me be, please. I need to sleep. Responsible. Nicole, I can't have you bossing over me simply because you've got a job and I don't. I can't! Oh, yeah. Wait! I am still talking. See, this thing cannot work between us. I am who I am and there's nothing you or anybody out there can do to change that. Okay? There are better men out there and you deserve the best. So leave me alone, go out there and find one for yourself, okay? I am willing to be with you like this. I am willing to spend the rest of my life with you like this. Maybe I love you. For God's sake, I said I need to sleep. Or, or can't you understand simple English? Don't you? <laughs> my freedom. I'm tired of being caged in this house. And besides, Elizabeth is edgy. She's afraid the fight might start again. That's not a good thing for a child. But I promise you that I wasn't going to hit you anymore. So I wasn't wrong when I said that I didn't like that friend of yours. Please, Dorothy has nothing to do with this. Dorothy has everything to do with it. Yes, she does. 
She's the one who's been coaching you to do all these your tiny things, right? Now, if she's the decent woman she claims she is, where is her husband? She's divorced. Obviously. Isn't that evident that that is the same thing she wants for you? She's trying to wreck your home. Just think a little bit. Home? Home? Oh, I didn't realize I had a home. I thought I was a slave. Isn't that how I'm being treated in this house? Okay. I can see you're just trying to start another fight. And I am not in the mood. Not tonight. Then I have a mind of my own and I have made it up. Tomorrow I'm going out to look for a job. Okay? I'm educated. And I need to care for my daughter the way she should be cared for. Try it. Just try it. And I dare you to step out of this house tomorrow. Yeah. What will you do? Hmm? You want to hit me again? Supposed to be family, family. living love and unity. unity. While tearing each other, while holding when each other. Where is the love? Where is the love we want to share? Where is the love? go wrong. I thought I had the perfect marriage. Did I not do everything possible to preserve my marriage? What do I tell my son about his father? And make her Wherever you are, God will continue to punish you. God will continue to punish you. Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth! 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 Yvonne! 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 He too is becoming a problem. I'm no longer certain he will defend me. Look, Ethel is a growing child. And just like Liz, I mean, it's only natural for kids to get to a certain age and become curious. It's nothing, don't worry. He's getting me very worried. Don't pass. Trust me. Now, um, Dorothy, on a more serious note, I'm thinking about leaving then. <laughs> to where? When you got married, it was for better or for worse. It's for worse, trust me. Yvonne, you don't want to be a single parent. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But I can't continue like this. I can't. I'm afraid I might just run mental or something, jump off the bridge one early morning. Instead of leaving, I believe you should stand your ground, fight for your rights. Things are bound to change. You cannot leave your home for another woman to come and harvest where she did not sow. Hmm? What if he gets worse? He becomes more violent. What do I do then? Will I wait for him to kill me first? Why don't you wait until then? I'll be with you every step of the way. Okay? Have you seen your husband on the television? That's what Mr. Ben Africa, CEO, absolutely. I'm happy for the both of you too. Perhaps this will calm him down. What I know. Listen, I've made up my mind. I will share my own career. Patience, my dear. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Huh? Who is that cute girl asking all the questions? I don't know, I've never seen her before. Plus 
still my husband doesn't discuss his business with me too. But I'm guessing she's the brain behind this. Because trust me, I don't know what it's going to be. Well, now he has. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be fine. Eh? When he comes home, be nice to him, okay? Okay, man, turn up the TV. Let's go to bed. Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, how are you? Give me a big hug. You okay? Come in. Daddy, I saw you on TV. You did? Yes. What was I doing? You were sitting with that auntie. Ah, yes, I was. Nico, that's my daughter, um, Elizabeth. She just turned nine. Um, how are you? Hi. And uh, that's my wife, Yvonne. Yvonne? That's Nicole. She is the head of my marketing team and she's now the vice president for Absolute Magic Media. Uh, good day, madam. How do you do? How do you do too? Um, people, can, I, can I talk to you back this? <laughs> I know you're wondering what her luggages are doing here, right? whatsoever. Yvonne, let's not start a fight, okay? Nicole has a little accommodation problem and I'm trying to help out. Until the company can find her a new place, she'll be staying here for a while. Why are you telling me? Isn't she here already? What does that mean? You should have sought my consent first before bringing her into this house. Nicole is a member of my staff. So? Is this your staff quarters? Is it? Okay, since you just refuse to understand... No, 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 Ben. It is you who has absolutely no respect or regard for me as your wife whatsoever. You do not raise your voice on me. We are guests. And so, if I do, what will you do? You realize you have a guest, don't you? Ask you too many questions. Oh, not at all. I'm actually enjoying her company. <laughs> Please, um, come with me. I'll show you too. Alright, thank you. Auntie, are you going to sleep in our house? Uh, please. Auntie Nicole will be staying with us for a while. Okay. some sort of self-confidence hmm? I will not tolerate you talking to ben, me ben, 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 please don't raise your voice at me don't well, except you're ready to show your barbaric self to that person you call his staff you don't talk to me when I talk to you okay you never talk to me when I talk to you You, 
you you think you can talk to me? Man, huh? stop it! Man, stop it! You don't talk to me when I talk to you. Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh! Ah! <coughs> uh. Isn't she? I can do whatever I want. Yvonne, let's go. <laughs> I dare you to lay a finger on me and I'll sue you for all your worth. Even the pants on you is gone. So you are the evil brain behind all of this, yes. right? You trying to wreck my home like you did to yours? No. What's your big home? You have planned out that illusion you have a home. You stupid, sick, irresponsible fool. Oh, you can talk. You're a coward. You can talk. You're a coward. Talk! I will talk. Your mentor is here, right? If you speak, a slap for yourself. Right. Whatever you do, don't come home. I will. I will come home. But only to get my things. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Stop right between us. Nice. I'm already in it by stepping into your house and your world. Then walk out. Walk out of my house and out of my world. I don't have anywhere else to go. I am already out of Jack's life and you know it. Then welcome to mine. Please, sir. Tell me in one sentence. This whole drama, has it got to do with me coming here? No. Did you not introduce Yvonne to me as your wife? Nicole, what's your point? What's your freaking point? The point is, I am disappointed, sir.
I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what else. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. You didn't show it. I pleaded with you, and you even hurt me. is all about learning from our mistakes. Haven't I done enough? Haven't I been patient enough? Haven't I been tolerant and submissive as a wife? Enough, Yvonne. This is not what you need right now. What am I going to do? Live. Life is the answer to your question. Look, you have a daughter. God forbid anything should happen to you. Who's going to look after her? Look beyond Mr. Ben, whatever your husband's name is. Dream high. There's hope out there. Live your life. You said you had problems at home. I know. It's... I'm just tired. You know, I'm just... Tired and sick and tired of all of this. You know, it's... She provokes me with every little thing so easily. Is it that she provokes you easily or you get angry at every little thing she does? I don't know. You know, I don't freaking know. I'm just, I'm just confused right now. Uh, supposing you take a vacation? Like you, you travel for some time? Perhaps when you come back, your head will be clear. I wish I could. But you know I can't. So. This is going this big deal and you know about it. I can't put the business at risk. It's not possible. I know. I cut us into the big league. And I will be there to sort things out. Absolutely. I know you can take care of me. I know. So fine. Now take my suggestion. Meanwhile, I must leave this house in the morning. Why? Because I can't stay here anymore. Not after what happened. Fair enough. 
but I will give you a place tomorrow. Remember when I told you that I might be petite, but with very tall ambition? Yeah. I want to buy a house, not rent. But the snag is, I do not have the money. You can, you can give me a loan. I mean, if we have this business thing going, the minute we work it out, yeah, the company can give you a loan. Why not? Thanks so much. I knew you would help me here. Who's there? The door is open. Good morning. How can I help you? Um, I wanted to have a word with you. If it's about my wife, I'm not interested. Besides, I know she's in your house. Yes, she is. And that is why I want us to... Please. As you can see, I'm on my way out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. You don't know what you want to walk into. I think I do. Because I just escaped from hell. Why don't you let things remain as it is between us? I have been hurt. I can't love again. Nikki, just let me try. Okay. Good. If you try and make up with your wife. It's over between my wife and myself. Get that straight. And I am not willing to let it start here. I haven't seen Elizabeth this happy before. Yeah, Elizabeth too. I mean, look at her. <laughs> Yvonne, I want to tell you my story. It's a tragic tale of love, betrayal, and anguish. I tell people I'm divorced or that Ethelbert's father is away out of the country. But in actual fact, He's dead. Oh. I had a young housemaid who couldn't handle the baby, so I had to employ a bigger girl. Gloria! It's okay, it's okay. She's a little girl. I mean, she'll change. Give her time. Hmm? And you? Would you change? Yes, I'll change. Uh -huh. um, 
Baby, I gotta go. Hmm? I gotta go, baby. Love you, Nadine. Mwah. Yeah. See ya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, come with me. You have to do something for me. My husband gave you this money. Yes. What is it meant for? Um, I, I needed to send it to a military. Really? Yes, yes. Now tell me, are you pregnant? Pregnant? Ha! Madam, no. I'm not pregnant. Too. I'm not pregnant. I swear to God. I'm not pregnant. Gloria, I hope you know I'm still a nursing mother. And so I will be able to tell when another woman is pregnant. Madam, I'm still a girl. I'm not oh, yet a girl. You stupid idiot. Tell me the truth or I'll call in the police. Hey, Madam, but I've not done anything wrong. Yes, you have. Oh, you prefer we go to the doctor right now? Madam, if we get to the hospital, will the doctor know who is responsible? Yes, he will. The doctor will be able to tell. And then you. Your entire miserable family will be dealt with and made to suffer. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Madam, I, I... I... You what? I, I wanted to tell you where, Madam. I wanted to tell you. Is... <laughs> is my husband responsible? Yes, my darling. Are you both having fun? Yes. Gosh, look at you. <laughs> Go on playing then, but be careful. Okay. Hey, have something to drink. Okay. Or eat. Yeah, hey, drop the gun. Take the ball. Yeah. But did Gloria say anything? I mean, did she at least tell you how it happened? She did. She was a very good storyteller. Hmm. And then... Things just became very clear to me. My husband was a chronic womanizer <laughs> and a dirty, dirty pervert. It all began from when I knew he came into the house. Oh, Ogas' oh, eyes was always on my phone for oh, each time I pass him by. What's that? Come on, we continue with what you're doing. What's that? What? Come in, come in. Go down to the other fridge in the kitchen. Get me a glass of cold water. Then one day, 
I was in the bathroom having my bath. And then he walked in. I know. I know you are taking your bath. You know, your madam told me that you are not clean and so she's going to send you out of this house. Not clean, not clean. I take my bath every morning and night. I'm clean, sir. But you know you can be clean outside, but she will not be clean inside there. And uh, madam is very angry. She's going to send you back. Do you want to pack up? Uh, there's only one way to find out. You know, this night, huh? Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, sir. Don't lock your door. To go in and find out how clean you are inside. Huh? So that I'll report back to Madame so that you will not go. Hmm? Or do you want to go? No, sir. Don't lock your door. Huh? Yes, sir. I'll see you. Don't lock your door this yes, night. Madam, Oka is very wicked. <laughs> From the first time he started doing it to me, he does not let me rest. <laughs> that was how one day he came into my room. <laughs> and I was very tired. I was doing it to me and doing it to me. I was doing it to me. But I almost fainted. I'm tired. I'm not doing it again. I'm tired. Tired of what? I'm not doing it to me. I'm tired of that. If she hears your voice and she comes in here to find out, you're the one that will go. Do you understand what I'm saying? She will still remain my wife. Okay? Come on, come on. Okay, we're going to Wait, wait. Let me turn like this. Wait, let me choose. Gloria, I took you in. Treated you like my own sister. I created time for you to go to school so you could be useful to yourself, your family, and the society as a whole. Yet you chose to ridicule me by sleeping with my husband and getting pregnant for him. <laughs> Madam Oga, Oga no Oga, how will I say no to him now? You should have come to me. I'm very lenient and understanding and you know that. Now, go to your room. Pack your things. I beg in the name of God, madam, please. Once. Madam, I beg in the name of God. Madam, I beg you. At once! Out. Depressed, watching Gloria leave with all her belongings, knowing very well that she was stepping into an unknown world over what she did not knowingly do. I felt for her, but bearing in mind that she was carrying a maker's child, I wanted to reach out and strangle the life out of her.
sat there all day carrying Ethelbert, wondering how my beautiful world had come crashing down when it had only just started. Oh, honey. Then I heard his voice. I didn't notice when he came back. And what is my beautiful wife thinking and like about? like a viper. I attacked him. You devil. Serpents. I despise you, you bloody pervert. What are you talking about? I forgave you the first time. The last time. Now it's all over. It's over. Dorothy, what has Don't come you over dare you? come any closer. I hate you. And I regret the day I married you. I I still don't get it. I mean, Dorothy, have you have you been drinking? Oh yes, I have. And I am drunk. On your lies, your deceit, and your torturous life. And for your information, I have sent your second wife, Gloria, packing at your pregnancy. Dorothy, uh, I can explain. Explain what? You're nothing but a dirty, cheating, cheap scumbag! I'll do you a favor. I'll end it all. With our son. I'll kill don't myself. Try don't! This. Don't! Don't! don't. Baby, give me the no! No! Oh, no! No! I'm so sorry! Oh! Oh no! My dear, I'm fine. I just took your mommy on a journey into my own world. And I hope that when she's ready, she'll take me into hers. You'll take us to home. You're already a part of that world, my dear. <laughs> and when you grow up, you'll understand better, okay? okay? I think it's time for us to leave. You've had enough rough play for the day. Come on, get the ball. Okay. It's funny how we both have a tail to play. Thank you. Uh, you look tired and confused. Come in. Real good taste. Thank you. Well, it wouldn't have been possible without your support. <laughs> That's not for free. You worked for it. You earned it. Thank you. Have a seat. Thanks. <clears throat> so, what do I get for you today? Ah, nothing. I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. I just want to have a clear mind right now. Thank you. Uh, 
I presume you have something in mind? No. Nothing. It's just that the past two weeks has really been confusing for me. I understand. Making up with your wife and trying to be a loving husband and father. I've not made up with my wife. I don't intend to. So, have you been managing together in the same house? I have not been home in two weeks. And I don't intend to go home. I... So, where have you been staying for two weeks now? I put up in a hotel. I just want to think about my life. You know, think about my life for a while. And have a clear head. Oh, you didn't tell me? Okay. I didn't want you involved in this. I just wanted you to settle down. And then think about it. No us. I'm gonna look at you. I love you. And yes, I have made my mistakes. But you have to. And I'm not willing to make another mistake. Ben came in to town for a business meeting and he was staying for about two weeks or so. I must admit, the first time I laid my eyes on him, my heart skipped. Anyway, I wasn't going to pay attention because as far as I was concerned, he was passing through and I wasn't ready to be one of those girls. Besides, I was involved with someone else, so I tried my best to put him off. That guy Just ignore him. I don't know who he is. Uh, he has been fully lost for some time now. Are you sure the problem? Look, I think he's lost. He is. He's, he's not an issue. I'm you want? My name is Ben. I'm on a mission to send you to paradise. My name is none of your business and I'm on a mission to break your head if you don't leave me the hell alone. This one knows you. What, be your friend? Leave me alone. What part of leave me alone don't you get? Look, don't cause any trouble. Please. One Sunday, I remember clearly, I got a letter from him and it touched me. So I, I felt I needed to see him to straighten things out. Well, at 
least that's what I told myself. So, baby, where did you say you're going to buy someone tonight? Um, there's a friend of mine who's traveling out, and I want to give her something to give to my mom. Oh, your mom? Mm. And then we can go together then. Uh, honey, my friend's parents are strict. Her dad won't appreciate a man in the house. I hope you understand. So, what happens to me that has come to spend some time with you? Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll come straight to a place from there. How's that? My dear Eva, the first time I set my eyes on you, my heart skipped twice and I knew you were exactly the one for me. Deep in my heart, I knew you were the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Even, I don't want to force you, neither do I want to impose myself on you. I knew you have a boyfriend, but I want to be more than that to you. This is my last trial to make you see reasons with me. And if I fail this time, I will never try again. I will be at the address below on Tuesday. Meet me there anytime from 5 p.m. Love, Ben. Good to go? Yeah. Um, I hope you're not angry. You do what? understand, don't you? Oh, of course. Why should I be angry? Oh, you said you're coming to my house, isn't it? Yes, I was. Oh. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Alright. Yeah. Oh, yes. Answer my question. Where were you yesterday? I told you I went to see a friend. Of course you went to see a friend. Ben, isn't it? <laughs> who is Ben? No, you tell me who is Ben. And don't you dare give me that face like you don't know what I'm saying. I saw the letter and I read it. You went searching through my bag? Don't you dare change the topic. I followed you. Is that not the same guy you denied not knowing? The guy that has been stalking you all this while. Tell me, what is happening? Talk to me. What's going on? That's how I gave up my relationship with Namdi. Relationship of two years for what I thought was love at first sight. Well, for the first year or so, it seemed worth it. Ben was, he was wonderful. Sorry, Ben was so nice. What happened? Elizabeth happened. He made his desire for his first child to be a boy known to me. And he was so passionate about it. <laughs> I 
I can still remember the look on his face when Elizabeth came through. He changed from that day on. He was never the same. Never. violated against my wish. However, the price will be very high because I made it clear that I cannot love again. If only he had listened. Reviewing what I have to do today. You need to relax. Huh? You need to relax. Life has been good to us. You need to relax some more, okay? Why? Definitely I will. <laughs> oh. It's the new contract between us and Springfield PLC. We'll have to talk to the lawyer first. No. Eviction notice. Why? Obviously, we're owing the landlord. Ben must have forgotten to pay for this. Either that or he doesn't care if Elizabeth and I are thrown out. Not a problem. I'll represent you, but they'll need to get their money. I have money. That's not a problem. So what's the problem? Is it possible to change the tenancy agreement at this point? No. Of course, because they're about to evict you. Why do you ask? It's been over two weeks since Ben left us. Without caring. Now, I believe the only reason he treats me the way he does is because he pays the bill. I don't want him to come back and throw Elizabeth and I out of his house. So, so, technically, you want to be the new tenant? Yes. Right. We should switch professions. You should have been a lawyer. Trust me, you don't want to be the better one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sort it out. Not a problem. Not a problem. Relax. Haven't I told you I don't want to be disturbed? I'm sorry, sir. So what is it? The school brought this later this morning, sir. She said it was urgent. Where is she? She left immediately, sir. I 
a matter of fact, uh, she did something rather too odd. What is odd about what she did? She came in here, dropped the letter, went into her office and then picked all her personal belongings and left. Design. Nah. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, can I help you, sir? For God's sake, this is my house. Open the gate. We will need Madame's confirmation first before we can let you in. Open the gate! What are you talking about? Sir, this is my house! To avoid embarrassment, Madame has to come first. Will you open the gate? Hey! Hey! Nico, what's the meaning of this? Excuse me? Can you at least open the gate? Let me come. You don't expect me to stand out here, do you? Besides, there are things I need to discuss with you. Ben, I am no longer under your payroll. As such, not eligible to discuss issues that concerns your company. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can you at least explain to me how come a contract that I had in my grip with Springfield PLC is now being awarded to another company? Registered under the name Nicole and Associates? Can you? You don't think I'm stupid, do you? I do the whole work, and all you could think to pay me back with was rent me. What are you talking about? Well, the contract from Springfield PLC is worth 50 million naira. You signed the handover to Nicole and Associates. However, if you feel you have been cheated, go to court. Nicole, Nicole, listen to me. This is my house, paid for with my money. Open the f gate! Do you have any written documents to that effect? Because the last time I checked, Nicole Wambara owns this property, not Ben Asika. And Nicole Wambara does not owe Ben Asika a dime. Nicole, look at me. Huh? Just look at me. You can't be doing this to me. Please, just open the gate. See? The mistake you made was taking me for granted. You assumed you could treat me like you do to your wife? But you forgot I told you that what I lacked in size, I have here. I have up here. Excuse me. Nicole. Nicole! Officer. Hey, you. Come, come, come. Come here! Uh, if you don't mind, you can go.
Who's there? Yvonne? Yes? Can I help you? Why is the lock on the door changed? <laughs> Excuse me, do you live here? This is ridiculous. What are you saying? Whatever it is, we can sort it out. Give me one minute. ceased to be yours a week ago. You see, the former occupants have been rejected. Okay, but you should have told me that I forgot to pay the rent. And my lawyers will sort it out. Big deal. You don't get it, do you? Mr. Ben Asika, tenancy agreement has been changed. Plus, I have filed for a divorce. You can't do this! Yvonne, you can't do this! You cannot. You can argue that in court. Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne, just listen to me. Think. Think about Elizabeth. What happens to her? She's my daughter as well, you know. Oh, so it's time to think about Elizabeth, is it? Really? Anyway, about her being your daughter, nobody's disputing that fact. But we'll leave it to the courts to decide who gets custody of the child. Yvonne! 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 Oh, 